been playing with this, and um, I think my last video I didn't quite do it justice. I feel like I cheated my viewers out of something. So I took the stop away here, and I moved this in so it doesn't hit this shaft. So I think, now my theory is, is that, see I had it starting here before. But you see, it's moving, uh, like, if this was an arrow, it's moving this way, so that you have to, like, add energy, like, this way, all the time. So, I'm just going to turn this, so you can see what happens. Okay, it's a little bit too fast. Let me grab a glove. I can find my gloves. There. Hopefully it's framed okay. And now it's hard to get a good shot. Okay. So. So I'm holding my hand on there like a load, right? So you can see when this goes from about here to here. That's when the force is turning in the right direction. And then, so, and then when it's over here, it almost wants to go the opposite way. So once it gets up to speed, So it is harder to turn with a load, but I think that like the more it is out here, then you're actually turning it like in the same direction, or you could say that that the more load, let it spin and stop it. You see the load actually helps it turn in. Excuse me, but it, it has to, it has to be like here, right? So the load actually puts a force this way, right? And then that ends up turning this around. So that's why I think that do want it to be out here. So pretty easy to turn, but I think that my load My load, I think, is a little bit more than the energy that this weight can provide. So you see that? Okay, I'm going to stop it. See? That's the load. Like the load slows it down, right? So it goes in on itself. Almost, see? So. We do have a balancing of forces, and uh, I don't think this has to turn around all the way, but it only has to go from about here, something like that. You might want to stop it from going like beyond that, like beyond straight. So there to somewhere like that. That's like what, 150 degrees? 